Time-triggered services enable TDMA-style partitioning and support hard real-time audio, video, and standard LAN applications in one Ethernet network. This means that both synchronous and asynchronous, best effort and rate constrained, traffic are possible in one network. Time-triggered messages are normal Ethernet messages with a special identifier. In the graphic on this slide, we can see several data streams. The time-triggered data stream is represented by the red pipe. Due to global synchronization with an accuracy of one microsecond, TT Ethernet allows synchronous or isochronous communication via IP network using time-triggered messages. The time-triggered services we use in TT Ethernet add a global time base to the distributed system. The global time base is created using distributed fault-tolerant algorithms at the network level and enables synchronization of end systems. The synchronization algorithm is designed and formally verified to provide continuous synchronization even in the case of multiple system faults. This also covers different types of Byzantine and asymmetric faults. The algorithm operates without a central clock and does not forward timestamps. The capability to synchronize without timestamps may sound exotic, but it contributes to the flexibility and security of time-triggered Ethernet networks. This also allows integration of other synchronization approaches in parallel. Lower priority asynchronous traffic is robustly separated from time-triggered traffic. The important aspect of synchronous time-triggered communication is that it is subject to different rules than asynchronous communication. In asynchronous communication, it is assumed that the network load cannot be predicted. In a synchronous world, resource use and message arrival is known and predictable. Time-triggered traffic can be seen as the highest priority traffic even though it is not based on any priority scheme and all asynchronous traffic is lower priority. While asynchronous priority-based communication allows only coarse-grained bandwidth partitioning, bandwidth reservation for time-triggered streams is fine-grained. Time-triggered streams cannot be influenced by network peak loads, so they behave like pseudo-wire or circuit-switched communication. Time-triggered communication emulates circuit switching and is lossless and free from latency jitter and congestion by design. This allows reliable, jitterless, and minimized latency in multi-hop networks. For example, this could extend the applicability of iSCSI or Fiber Channel over Ethernet to large networks hosting different applications. On this slide, we can see how time-triggered traffic can be integrated with low-priority standard LAN, medium-priority SAN, and high-priority low-latency traffic. Very critical data streams which require constant quality of service and minimum latency and jitter are handled using time-triggered communication. This is essential in applications where overloading of computing and networking resources cannot be predicted well, but critical distributed functions must work in all cases. In contrast to circuit switching, where the bandwidth reservation is fixed and independent of the link load, time-triggered streams can release unused bandwidth immediately for other asynchronous traffic. On this slide, four synchronous time-triggered Ethernet streams are shown in red. They are robustly separated from other asynchronous priority-based or rate-constrained data streams such as IEEE DCB or AVB and other lower priority standard Ethernet traffic. With TT Ethernet robustly partitioned multimedia data streams, critical control data and standard LAN messages can operate in one network without congestion or unintended interactions. TT Ethernet provides a set of time-triggered services implemented on top of standard IEEE 802.3 Ethernet. These services are designed to enable design of synchronous, highly dependable, embedded computing and networking systems capable of tolerating multiple faults.